Begin as we do each week, introducing ourselves to the people around us. So if you can say hello to your neighbor, front, right, back, left, and then we'll begin together. Sunday we had a very successful fundraiser on behalf of Israel and so I would like to invite Michael Gilman who led the charge to be joined by anyone who was at the concert last Sunday. 
I was out of town in Florida visiting TBE South. So I don't know who you are who were there, but I heard not only was it well attended, yes. but very successful in its fundraising. And for that, I am very grateful. Members of Pa'amonim, the group that opened for the Sheffield Chamber players, are here. Oh, wonderful. And many others who helped to make this happen. So please join with Michael in lighting the candles. I think $18,000 was raised. Is that right, Michael? Fantastic. Let's join together with these words. Baruch everyone. Thank you for your support for Israel. Deeply appreciated. Thank you, Michael. As a community, let's continue with our celebration of Shabbat using the prayer book or the screens in front of you. Let us rejoice together. The words of Kabbalah Shabbat. tomorrow we join together and let righteousness flourish thinking how we can bring righteousness to our world tzadik tzadik katama yifra tzadik katama yifra tzadik tzadik katama yifra
שני, ורעננים יהיו להגיד כי ישר ארוני צורי, ולא אבלת אבו צדיק. צדיק צדיק קטמי יפרע, צדיק קטמי יפרע, צדיק צדיק קטמי יפרע, צדיק קטמי יפרע We get ready to welcome Shabbat and we continue in song, page 138, Lechad <laughs> Shabbat 
Join together for our call to prayer, 146. <laughs> prayer, thanking God for the gift of Torah, of meaning and purpose in our lives. Ahavat olam, Beit Yisrael, Torah umitzvot, Hukim umishpatim, Otanu, upon this earth with meaning and with purpose. And so we continue with words of Shema. Shema.
Shema continues. V'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha v'chol nafshecha v'chol meodecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom alvavecha Vishinantam <laughs> Uvisharecha Leman tiskeru Vasitem et kol mitzvotai Vitem groshim leloechem Ahani Adonai eloechem Asher hotzeit yetchem Meeret mitzrayim Lehiot lachem lelohim Ani Adonai Elohechem Emet. And through words of Torah and deeds of justice and righteousness and kindness, may we lead the world to a day filled with peace and justice as celebrated at the shores of the sea, a day of celebration. Some words that I did not ask my colleague Ben to include on the screen are, who is like you? Who is like you, Adonai? Mi chamocha ba'elim Adonai mi chamocha netar ba'kodesh nora tehilot o sefele mi chamocha. Ba'elim Adonai mi kamocha Nedar ba'kodesh nora tehilot O sefele Who is like you?
page 160, we sing this lullaby to help us find the calm and comfort of evening and especially of Shabbat, page 160. Let's join together. Hashki veinu Adonai Eloheinu L'shalom, L'shalom V'ha'amideinu Shomreinu L'chaim Ufrosaleinu Sukkot Shlomecha Ufrosaleinu Sukkot Shlomecha Shelter us beneath your wings, O oh Adonai. Guard us from all harmful things, O oh Adonai. Keep us safe throughout the night till we Teach us God wrong from right. Amen. Hashki venu Adonai Eloheinu L'shalom, L'shalom V'ha'amideinu Shomreinu Adonai hapore sukat shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Amen. Page 164, we invite you to rise as we begin to ready ourselves to pray the Amidah. Adonai sifatai tifta. Fiyagi, 
Continue silently. It's been 132 days since October 7th. It's 132 days that the hostages have been held in Gaza, 132 days praying for an end to this war and of praying for peace for Israel, comfort, um, and something new and different to come in where we desperately need that. And so we continue to pray for Israel because that's what we know how to do. So the words are on the screen we can read together. A sovereign of all, all the, world. the world, shelter, shelter Israel, Israel beneath your protective presence. May all its inhabitants and defenders know physical and psychological safety. May they find strength in solidarity and be nourished by our love and support. Guide us with wisdom and compassion as we balance the necessity of Israel's safety and security with the suffering of all those who are innocent in Gaza. Time of danger and grief, may we have the audacity to pray for peace, just as our ancestors have done each time they were threatened and terrorized. We pray that the people of Israel find wholeness and no tranquility. We pray for shalom in the land we love. Oh, 
Page 371, we turn our thoughts to those in our lives and in our world who are in need of healing of their body and mind and spirit, people we know, people we know of. Um, if you have a name that you'd like to share this Shabbat, we invite you to rise so that we can come and meet you and hear that name. We pray for all those in need of healing. We're also praying for Anne Rosenberg this Shabbat. Misha Berach. Misha Berach Avoteinu Mekor Habracha the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. <speaking in Hebrew> Bless those in need of healing, 
with refua shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Andrew Zell mentioned Dan Rosenberg, who is a frequent Shabbos goer, and she is watching in the hospital right now. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say hi to Anne. Lots of love from us. We are in the month of Adar, in which the rabbis tell us to increase our joy. And even in uh, times when our weeks might be dark, that Shabbat offers us this opportunity, and being in community offers us this opportunity to lift each other up with our moments of joy. So if there's anyone who has celebrated a birthday or a birth within this past week, we'd love to hear. I see a voluntold, oh, <laughs> voluntold Robin's birthday. Robin's birthday, I assume. Say one more time. And your co- and a conversion anniversary and a birthday. Beautiful. Mazal tov to you. And a birthday this week for you. Mazal tov to you. <laughs> Beautiful moments of joy lifting us up. Yeah. Turning eight. Eight Re- yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Mazalto. Beautiful. Grab my way over here. Oh, I see. There's lots of hands. I know. Let me, I don't want to miss. A driver's license. Mazalto. Big moment. In the back. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you, Mazalto. A birthday this week, mazel tov to you. And your son Michael's birthday, goodness. And it's Susan's birthday Happy as well. Birthday, this is Susan. a good week for birthdays. birthdays. Thank you for lifting us up. I don't want to miss also anniversaries. Any uh, wi- this is where, right, we've got a lot of birthdays this time of year, a few fewer anniversaries perhaps. I think we've got them all, but Rabbi. We've got them, beautiful. <laughs> let's gather all, all of that up um, for Shehech Yanu. Let's join together. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehehanu Mekimanu Vehegianu Lazman Hazem Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu v'kimhanu v'hegianu l'azman hazeh any anniversaries. I don't think so. (laughs) But I rushed us along a little bit because we have guest speakers this evening um, addressing a very important and difficult topic, and I want to make sure we leave time for them before people need to rush off for Shabbat services. Because of the subject matter and what they experienced at the Nova Festival, I've moved the, the sermon slot to after Kaddish so that people who are emotionally uh, really kind of unprepared to explore this topic in community um, can kind of quietly uh, go and observe Shabbat. But I hope people can stay. It's an important topic. Um, if there are children in the midst, um, I'm grateful for Cantor Rosenberg, who has agreed to take any children outside and share a story or something if the parents still want to remain 
in the sanctuary. So thank you. Uh, so we're going to conclude the liturgy with Elenu and Kaddish and then have our typical sermon slot and address where we'll spend the same amount of time, about 15 minutes of learning together and adjourn at the same time and go out to Oneg like we do each week. So let's now rise, page 586, for the words of Alenu. Alenu le Before we conclude our liturgy, we offer gratitude for our loved ones whose memories remain with us. As we remember them in this moment, we observe their yard sites, the anniversary of their death, as well as the shloshim, a period of mourning of 30 days for a relative or a year for a parent. If you are observing a period of mourning, thinking of someone who you love, we invite you to rise. If you're with us here in the sanctuary, recite their name aloud, as well as their relationship to you. If you're on Zoom, please place their name on the chat, and I will share the members of our community who have passed in these most recent days. Do we miss anyone in the room? Our community is observing the Shloshim period for Ursula Bear, Rabbi Neil Brief, Stephen Enlar, Daisy Katz, Lawrence Langer, Susan Rohrbach, Deborah Slocum, and we also learned that Stephen Pocker passed away um, today not yet interred. We've been asked to read the yard sites of Zelda Lazar, Lois Mursky, and Linda Zell Randall. Let us rise as a community as we remember all of the loved ones in our heart, including those we have not yet named this evening, as we turn to page 598. Yitkadal vidkadash shme raba be alma dibrach herute be amlich machute be chayechon of your mechon of the chaye de hobe Israel ba agala of his man kari ve imru amen yehe shme raba mevarach le alam ulame almaya hit barach vish tabach vit paar vit ramam vit nase vit hadar vit ale vit halal shme de goodisha rehu the Ela min kol bir chata beshirata, tush be chata benechamata, da amiran be alma be imru, amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, be chayim alenu be al ko Yisrael, be imru, amen. Amen. O se shalom bim romav, hu ya ase shalom alenu be al ko Yisrael, be imru, amen. Ya ase shalom. 
Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael. Yase Shalom, Yase Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael. Let's all be seated. I'm going to have Cantor Rosenberg just stand at the back door if any children identify themselves. Story time. If not, please stand in the sanctuary. Um, before we begin, I just want to thank Rachel Glazer, who does all things in Boston, especially in support of Israel. So welcome. We're really glad you uh, led us to Daniel and Nuria today. I want to recognize Ilana, who's here, who I thought was coming from Israel, and she's going to uh, come forward after our speakers and maybe field some questions, but it turns out that Ilana is not from Israel. She is from Needham, but attended a birthright trip how long ago? A month ago. A month ago, and here you are, and to make that choice to go to Israel at this time. Um, must have been incredibly powerful. And so uh, you'll have to speak to us at another time. But um, I am really glad that we have Daniel and Aria Sharabi with us, brothers who were attending the Nova Festival on October 7th, as we know what turned out to be the deadliest day in Jewish history since the horrors of the Holocaust over 75 years ago. I do not want to say any more. I want to allow them the time to share their experience with us and uh, what they have dedicated themselves to since that day, which is an organization they created for the survivors and the wounded of the Nova Festival. And we don't traditionally fundraise on Shabbat. Instead, we highlight valuable organizations that we hope you'll contribute to after Shabbat. So we've placed the QR code on sheets outside, and I will make the fundraising pitch for them, which is to say they have come from Israel to raise funds for a valuable organization that we're going to, um, that is important due to the suffering that started on October 7th. And there's no one better, I gather, to share uh, words with us today than them. And so I'm grateful you're with us. So if you'll come forward, and I am told from people in the congregation, our sound has been complicated when we don't use these mics, because if you turn your head, you miss the microphone. So we're gonna try something. I'm gonna place the microphones on both sides. So that way, if you're speaking here, you can look that way and you can look that way and no one's sitting over there. So you don't have to look this way. But if you can't hear them and it's due to what you think is the microphone, raise your hand and then I'll attach the, the ears. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Hi everyone. So, Shabbat Shalom. First of all, we introduced ourselves. I am Nerea Sharabi, 22 years old. Um, I serve in the army. I finished it before one and a half years ago. And I start to work and trying to save for my trip after the army. My name is Daniel Sharabi, 23 years old. I finished the army two years ago. I was a combat medic. And after the army, I go to travel a little bit, North America, South America, and then I go back to Israel. And I planning to go to US uh, to work a little bit and work in, uh, to be a pilot in Maryland. But three days before I supposed to fly, the, the massacre blocked me to do it. I share with you a little bit. I take you with us to this day. And four months and almost two weeks, it was Simchat Torah holiday. All of us, you know, go to Bet Knesset after this dinner of holiday. 
And we plan after the, the, the dinner to go out to big festival that all of us wait for this. We see it, we eat, all our family, the big family, my cousins, my best friend Yosef, that now a hostage, come to us to the dinner. We go to the party. Everything was amazing. It was 5,000 people almost come to enjoy, to celebrate, you know, like the Coachella here in America. Till 6.29, the music stopped, and we saw the rockets. All the sky was gray. It doesn't sound the sky. It was 100 rockets in a minute. When the rockets start to fly, some of them hit around us, and people start to get nervous and start to scream, the girl. It was a big, big panic. We decided to stay a little bit because the traffic, if 5,000 people leave the area in a minute, it's going to be big, big traffic. So if we wait half hour, we can drive nicely, have fun, at least from the drive. After 20 minutes, I feel something wrong. I go to the manager of the security, I know him, he was in the bar in the middle of the party. And when I arrived to him with my friend Yosef, I hear on the radio that someone get shot. And then everything start. I call to Nerea, I tell him to come to the road. And I'm on the way to road because I hear someone get shot, so I'm going to help them, I'm a medic. I was with Yosef, Nerea come with my cousins from the, he going to bring the car, and he just left the car and ran into us. He arrived also to the road. When we arrived to the road, my friend screamed to me from far, come, come here, come here, come here. We need a medic. I ran into him. When I arrived to him, I saw a girl that get shot, three bullets rolling his back and his leg. I started to do first aid, tourniquet, whatever I know. Someone bring for us a stretcher, stretcher. We evacuated the girl to the place of the medic and the ambulance and the police. And when we evacuated the girl, we come back to the road. We saw ambulance, empty ambulance, and we want to break it, to broke the ambulance and take the medic staff. We take the medic staff. We were six people, me and Ria, Yosef Chai Mohana, right now is a hostage. Shalev Yoshua, my cousins, Itai Bausi, and Ben Mizrahi, both of them get murdered after 20 minutes. We take the stuff, the medic stuff from the ambulance, Ben put it on his bag, and after two minutes, the terrorists arrived to us, three truck of terrorists come to us and start to shoot all over the people start to kill the people. We trying to go back all over the road. If you see the road with all the cars, two, three, two. We jump in from a car to a car and we run and figure out how we leave the area. People shoot on us, it's snipers, RPG rockets, like small division. He killed all the police that was that trying to block them and we was, behind the police, and we get attacked by RPG behind the car that we was, and we split. My cousins go inside to the party, Yosef go to the left side of the road, me and I stay together. Itai and Ben I probably die in this moment. And we continue to run in all the, all the road, and we jump in from a car to a car, and we start to jump on a dead body on people that die. And every second, every car that we pass blew up to the sky because of the RPG. When we finish the road, we, we jump on a car. We understand that we cannot longer run it anymore because we're not going to arrive so far. <clears throat> and we start to jump on a car and we start to drive. And when I start to drive, I saw some vehicle come in front of me and he drive like he drunk, but he actually get shot. And I saw him take left, and I saw what's going on in the left. He probably know something, and I saw the tank. 
so Israeli tank, get hide. And both of us was in the army. We understand that we not hopeless anymore. We can fight back. If we're going to die, at least it's not when we're running. <coughs> After, after that we running almost <clears throat> almost two hours, and we was it was the worst feeling to be hopeless. That we we know that we were, we was in the IDF. If we had the weapon, we can save more people. And then we get to the tank, and immediately we decided to go inside and trying to find weapon. We go inside, then he'll go to the radio, trying to reach out with the IDF without tensor. And then I just immediately start to search after the weapon. And I look it on the floor and I see a vest. I try to pick him up and then I realize this is not uh, just a vest, this is dead soldiers. I start to switch him up to find his weapon, almost seven minutes. After seven minutes, then he'll go out because we start to get shot by RPG, by a lot of sh shooting. And I, I stayed there because I decided that until I, I'm not get the weapon, I'm not leave the tank. After seven, 10 minutes, I find the weapon. I try to get, get out from the tank, start to fight back, and then I put my head in above the tank from the exit, and then I get 10 bullets right above my head, and I realize that I can't go out like this. So I decided to throw the weapon to Daniel that he was outside. And then I jumped out from the tank and the, the weapon was jimmed. We don't, in the beginning we realized that we have to go back to the tank to bring oil, but the tank was bombed. So Daniel tell me you, you cannot go there because if you die, I can't go back home. <clears throat> So he just asked the girls that over there, who has Vaseline, who has oil, something to fix the weapon. And then some of the girls bring us a little package of Vaseline. And he put it on my weapon. And in the miracle way, the weapon, I load it and the weapon work. I go to the left side of the tank. This was the miracle of Hanukkah for us, the oil miracle, yeah. Hashem. <laughs> And I start to fight back, and then I start to realize that we are surrounded, more than 120 terrorists, just me, with M16 that I took from dead soldier, and another survivor that took machine gun. Like this, six hours that we're fighting, I am without short because Daniel has to took it for do another people tourniquet. We fight like this, we get two RPG, one of them hit us, I get shrapnels in my pinky, then I'll get also two of, the, two of them in his hand. And my, my worst feeling from that day was the, the way out. Because when I leave the tank, I think, okay, it's over. <clears throat> I'm not going to see any more blood. And then we start to go out, and I see all the road full with dead bodies, over than 200 dead bodies if I can call it like this, because most of them was peace of the bodies. And after that day, we start to try to find other people, because I took a lot of video. We start in search after our friend. After 11 days, we realized that his, his best girlfriend born alive and left from her just three teeth. And his best friend from eight years kidnapped by the, by the Hamas. Three hundred sixty-four people murdered in the Nova. Almost 50 people get kidnapped. It was 4,500 people in the Nova we have information about 3,800 survivors only. It's a lot of people, a lot of dead people. 
a lot of our friends. I know something like 30 people that die in the Nova. A few of them, it's a good, good friend of me. One of them, it's almost my best friend. After the Nova, we think that our, our war is over, but it just starts. We start to fight with panic attack. We start to fight with the feeling. We start to fight with, with the life, how, how to continue in our life. After a month, my friend invited me to, to vacation in LA, in San Diego. And I speak in one event, we speak in one event, and our story blew up, and we start to understand how, power, how powerful our story. And after a few weeks, uh, we speak with someone from the Nova that was in Israel that sent, we have a big group of survivors. He sent a message, warning message in the group, and my cousin called him and asked him what's going on, and he saw him trying to uh, suicide. Almost 40 people, 14 people become suicide from the Nova already. We decide no more. We going to do something. So our father is a lawyer in Israel. We open a non-profit organization in Israel for the survivor and the wounded. This is the name. We start to take care of the people from the Nova. With therapy, with big retreat that we do, with treatment to take off the people. He needed treatment and he needed fast. We cannot wait till the government start to act and help to the PTSD. We start to do three ways of help the survival. First of all, to do um, spatial therapy, EMR, eyes movement. Um, we try a lot of things in all these months. And unfortunately, most of the therapy not help us at all. I, I continue to get nightmare every night. I continue to get vision of people. And just after this therapy, I start to feel much better. So we decide to bring this. For this therapy, for six sessions, for each person, it costs for us $400 for each. And we have at least 1,050 people that we already contact with them, our friend, the survival that needed. We also do another help with retreat because most of the people not feel safe in any place in the country. So we bring them three days of retreat with safe place, with therapy, with with food, with, with drinks, whatever they, they need and want uh, for make them feel a little bit better. These people, people don't know the big plan that's supposed to happen in Israel in this day. But it was a surprise for them that they find the big, big party, 5,000 people. The big plan was to arrive to Tel Aviv. In Simchat Torah morning, it's 50 minutes to arrive to Tel Aviv from Gaza. All the road clean, nobody on the road, all the people sleeping. You know, it's holiday. It's supposed to arrive to Tel Aviv. When the party was over there, and most of the terrorists was busy to kill 5,000 people. We ask for anyone. We cannot... We cannot leave them behind. This is our, the future of Israel. This is the young, the young men, the young women. It's the future of the country, our country. This is our friend, the family. We ask for help for, many, for anyone, and we spare the world. We, we feel responsibility from that day for all the survival. So help, help us to help another people. Thank you so much, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So I want to thank you.
I want to thank both of you for being here. I know it must be very difficult to share this over and over again, but the power of your words will hopefully lead to um, strengthen others who have encountered such horror. Um, I just want to thank you for really sharing your story and the importance of your organization. Ilana, I promised you an opportunity to ask a question if there was something you felt was missed. They did an amazing job. Every time I've heard them speak, I think they did enough. Yes. So I want to thank you. Um, information about the organi organization is outside. Um, I will also, on behalf of all of us at the Temple community, make sure that the funding comes your way. You're doing such sacred and important work. So okay. well, hopefully we can be your partners. So Thank you. I can say one more thing? Yeah. I have a message for you. For my friend, from the people in Israel. You know, the situation right now for the Jewish, it's amazing. Everyone united. Every time that we hit by someone, we get in there, get, get in together, all of us, and we feel strong than ever. So I ask you, for the people that are not longer with us, before yesterday, I, my the brother of my friend died in Gaza. For all the people that sacrifice his, his life, let's be together, not just in the war, to the rest of the time in the good times and bad times. Thank you. Thank you. Let's all rise. We're going to conclude with Hatikva and then Kiddush and Motzi, and then we'll go outside and uh, celebrate Shabbat. Doneg. <laughs> As an Israeli citizen, will you take hold of the Kiddush cup? It's nice to have a second home outside of Tel Aviv. <laughs> so, um, and you're returning soon. So, right, when did you get back here? Uh, we come back in a few weeks. We're going back on Thursday of next week. So we're hoping our delegation sees you in Tel Aviv. It's still open to join us on the Solidarity Mission. We're going to close, though, the registration in a few days, right? Um, Let's join together. Okay, like a bar so. mitzvah boy, Nui. Will you get us started? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Asher kinnishanu b'mitzvotah, Baratzavanu. Vishabak kocho, yavad vatson hinilanu, zikaron le mashe bereshi, ki hu yom tehiva, lipai kodesh, zechel tziav mitzrai, ki vanu vaharta, Yatanu ki dashta, Mikoha mi, 
ושבת קודשה באהבה וברצון יכלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מחדש השבת. לחיים, you get the sip. Is it juice? That's too bad. Uh, before we go outside, and I hope you'll greet our visitors outside as well. Rabbi Harper, any quick announcements? That's okay. We'll hear you. Something important to know is that uh, Minion, Shabbat Minion, is on Zoom for the next two weeks, so please do join us on Zoom. Don't come to the building. Um, but there is lots happening um, elsewhere in the week this Tuesday. Um, the power of song. Let's lean into that with Cantor Zell, Tuesday Holy Singers. Um, we have a number of classes if you are inspired to, uh, to deepen your connection to Israel. Israel for real. Conversational Hebrew also beginning both in the month of March. Please do check a, take a look at your email for both of those opportunities. And of course, get ready for the installation of our colleagues, Rabbi Kalman and Rabbi Rosen on March 1st. Jews and hip hop first. Jews and hip hop first. Okay. Uh, yes. us. Let's join together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz b'tay avon Take a bite, and now we can wish each other Shabbat, good Shabbat shalom. shalom, good Shabbos, Daniel and Maria. Thank you once again. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Mr.